Good morning, good morning. Um, it's Friday, the 25th. I just got back from my run. And I was just listening to um, this podcast. Um, Patricia Bright was on it. And she was just talking about um, finances and how she feels like people make it complicated and use all these complicated words on purpose. Then I paused it yeah, and I was thinking about how this myth that we've heard growing up that if you have money, you're evil and like you shouldn't want for nothing, basically. And I understand the level of like be grateful for what you have and also be humble. But then also, sorry guys, I'm actually like not sitting down to film right now. But then also, why does that mean that you have to suffer and go without and not and have to stress? about money and not be able to take care of yourself and not be able to take care of your family that's not a real thing so people think that if you're rich you're evil and if you're if you believe in god then you shouldn't want more that doesn't make sense to me at all why would god give give you gifts and talents and opportunities to use those gifts and talents and make money without compromising your integrity and dignity without like hurting other humans so like it's not bad money karma you're not selling drugs which is going to mess up someone's life why would god give you that and then say oh but you can't use it though because if you use it that means you're not serving me that doesn't make sense to me that doesn't sit right with me <laughs> i feel like it's definitely something that they used to try and keep people in a box so why no so there's like loads of young millionaires and stuff coming out right and i feel like what's happening is we've been told as we're growing up like coming from poor backgrounds or whatever that having money the rich people are all evil blah 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 but whatever we've got to the age now where we've got to take care of ourselves some people had kids young they've got to take care of them and they're like this doesn't feel right why would i not try and do something more with myself and provide for the people in my family and like take care of people around me that i love and take care of myself to the level that I want to, that doesn't make sense. And then the other side of it is, even if you didn't hear those things growing up or whatever, it's the lack of self-worth. For a long time, I was like, like I was okay doing things for free. And it's not that I'm not anymore, because I still volunteer and I still do that. But I know that where I deserve to get paid, I, I deserve to get paid because I bring that value and I bring that worth. And I see that now. It took people using me and how good I am and they're not realising when they're saying things like, oh my God, Ebony, you're so good. I didn't know I was good at what I do. <laughs> Up until now, till like this very morning, a couple minutes ago. And I was thinking, wow, like, I actually do a lot and I actually bring a lot to wherever I'm working, wherever I'm trying to help build. And I deserve to be paid accordingly for that. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not me being big headed. That's not, oh, she thinks she's better than, no, that's, Pay me what I'm worth. Why should I feel bad for that? Does that make sense? It's like, does it actually make sense? Like, fair enough, there's volunteering. And then there's... If I'm bringing that much value to you... If someone's working for me, yeah? And I can see they're excelling and they're going above and beyond every single time. I'm going to be like, raw. And as we do start to make more money... I've made a note of that and I know you're going to be good. I'm going to take care of you because you're taking care of, you're building here. Especially when it's not your own business. So fair enough for cultured ways. I can talk rubbish, but that money goes back into cultured ways. If I'm working for a different organisation and you can see this individual who does not owe you anything because if I wanted another job, I would go and get another job. If someone, like, I'm not saying this is my situation now, but if you're working a job for an organisation, you can go and get another job. No matter how long it takes or whatever, there will be another job. So your organisation needs to see your worth. And even if they can't pay you more money, because that's not always the case, they can give you benefits. They can, um, like, incentivise you. They can even just let you know that, yeah, we can see that you're working hard. I feel like people are scared to do that. Why are you scared to tell me that I'm doing a good job? Because now I'm sitting here thinking I'm not even doing good enough. Then I'm going over what I've, what I've done and I'm like, damn, what am I even talking about? I provide value and it's okay to be paid for that value. You don't have to be poor. You deserve so much more than to have to stress about money, to wonder where your next meal's coming from, to wonder if you can keep the electric on in winter, to be cold in winter. Like, you deserve more than that and you need to know that. And this box that they put you in, that 
if you feel like that, then you think you're too good for whatever. You see when Kanye said, I am a god? I'm not saying that. God is the higher being, yeah? And we're made in his image. So to me, God is within me. God is within you. When you have a high level conversation, that's our spirits. That's God speaking to each other through us. Do you, I do, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. You see in Islam, it says that when you look at anything in nature, animal, plant, human, you see God because God is in everything. So, I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh, it was about the self-worth thing. So if you see that God is within you, look how much we value and praise God. I'm not saying to value and praise yourself like that, but I'm saying to give yourself more credibility. If you believe in God, that also means that you have to believe in yourself because it's a, it's a meet halfway. Yes, we pray to God to give us everything that we want and then we take aligned action so that those things meet up. You can't just pray to God and think everything's going to come to you. And you can't just do things without belief and think that you're going to get there. That's all I wanted to say this morning. Um, this is a really random video. It's just a really nice setup or whatever. It's like my little cultured face. Oh, this is actually nice. There's my cultured face thing behind me. Um, yeah, whenever this video comes out, have a good day, have a good week, have a good hour, minute, second. Yeah. And just sit down and think about what are your gifts and talents. If you could get paid to do anything, what would you do? If you had all the money in the world, what would you do? Because me right now, I had to sit down and ask myself that the other day. Because if money is stressing me out, cool. What is it that's stressing me? What would money change in my situation right now? If I had all the money in the world, I'd still be working the same job because I love it. I love my team and I love what we're doing. It's very important. I'd still be working on cultured waste the same way because I can't do everything at once. So even if I want God to come and give me the money to do this, to do that, to do that, I'm not going to be able to do it at once anyway. So I better off working with what I do have, letting whatever come. And when it comes, I'll do what I need to do with it, if that makes sense. And work on learning how to grow it it's your responsibility yeah they don't teach us about money in school they don't teach us about how to build wealth but look at the internet there's you there's social media you can learn everywhere so now it's your responsibility to go and learn wealth it's your responsibility to go and learn how to how to make money without compromising your integrity how to build wealth so how to make your money work for you because time is not money please stop saying that Research the 80-20 rule because there's no need to be tiring myself out and I'm exhausted and if I'm not exhausted, I feel like I'm not doing enough. That's how I used to live and I'm not living like that anymore. Look at my eyes. Nah, I'm not doing it anymore. So go and figure out how to do these things. Go and figure out what do they mean when they say to work smart and hard. Go and learn these things. And implement them into your life no one's saying that you have to start a business you have to change it you have to quit your job and turn your whole life around just start to implement these things bit by bit go and learn time management oh my gosh especially my community we need to learn time management and i'm still learning right now i will go rush shower and get to work before my meeting so that i can prepare otherwise i'm gonna get there at 12 o'clock on the door and then for the first 10 minutes i've got oh, oh sorry guys and so open my laptop open the documents da, da, da. Time management is very, very, very important. And it's skills like this. And then when you do work on those skills, you build value in yourself. You start to feel valued. And it's like, okay, hold on, wait. I deserve to be paid more than I am right now. I deserve to be recognised more than I am right now. And that is okay. You don't have to feel guilty for that. I don't think... You don't have to think you're better... You're not better than anyone else because you do these things. But you can help other people when you do, one... And two, you just live a more fulfilled life and you feel better about yourself. So that's all I wanted to say this morning. <laughs> and yeah, if you like what I said, if you resonate, if you think it's truth, which it is, truth can only be realised, it's in you already, then like, share, comment, subscribe, send it to people who you think need to hear this. Because for me, I'm going to be sending it to my family. This is the way I'm going to do it now because I can't sit down, spend my time saying it to everyone. YouTube is my outlet. And Jeff, got some green juice, I'm gonna go shower and get ready for my meeting. Have a nice day.